Hey everyone, welcome to The Financial Glass. I'm William Glass. Today I wanna to talk to you about Fit for Life. Um, so on The Financial Glass, cover all sorts of topics that help you build your best life. And today I wanna to talk to you about Fit for Life, which is a classic book that talks about how to eat in order to optimize your energy. So focusing on producing the highest level of energy that you can and feeling good and healthy, not just a fad diet, but actually helping you change the way and uh, your body digests and focusing on your natural cycles. So in Fit for Life, there's uh, a couple, there's a few things that are really important. So the first is that there's three phases of digestion. Uh, the first is from noon until 8 p.m. and that's where you eat and you digest. So that's where you're doing the majority of your food consumption. The second phase is um, absorption. So that's where you're actually absorbing the nutrients that you've consumed. So that's from um, 8 p.m. until 4 a.m. And then the last phase and the one of the most important phases is elimination. And so that's where your body is removing the toxins, the things that it can't use, and that happens from 4 a.m. until noon. Uh, and so what you want to do is you want to eat certain foods during those times in order for you to optimize those cycles. So the first cycle, I'm actually going to start backwards with actually elimination. So if you think about it, you wake up in the morning, the first thing you need to be eating is you need to be eating fruits. Um, fruits help you optimize your energy. I don't know if I can juggle a banana and a pomegranate and an apple, but looks like I can't. So anyway, um, but eating fruits, what it does is they're full of water and they give you quick bursts of energy. The fructose, they're easy for your body to break down. So by eating them in the mornings rather than, you know, heavy, a heavy meal of eggs, mash, uh, eggs, whatever, potatoes and breakfast potatoes and all that, that sort of stuff, you actually focus on just having quick fuel because your body's still in that elimination phase where it needs the energy and the water and the nutrients that are in fruit to help you eliminate um, what you've already consumed and the toxins that have built up from the other foods that you've eaten. So that's the most important thing. And if you uh, are familiar with Jesse Itzler, he is the owner of the Atlanta, um, the Atlanta Hawks. And specifically, he talks about how he's been implementing this and only eating fruits before, up until noon um, his, since he read the book, essentially. And I, I don't know, it's been decades and decades ago. And he's an ultra marathoner, uh, marathoner and does all sorts of endurance training. And throughout that entire training and actual races only consumes fruit until noon. So it's doable. The second piece is the eating and digestion phase. So that's where you want to eat more of your meals. Now, not surprising, and like most probably other diets, eating more vegetables is important. So you can eat vegetables with anything raw, the better. Um, when you cook foods over 180 degrees, you start to kill the enzymes and amino acids that are in the foods so that they don't actually digest as easily over time. So raw is better, but essentially lots of vegetables. The other piece that's really important is that you don't mix carbohydrates and proteins. The reason being is that your body uses different enzymes that counterbalance each other when you eat them together. So for proteins, your body needs um, enzymes that, uh, proteins need to be in an acidic environment in order to break down properly. Carbohydrates need to be in an alkaline environment. When you combine the two, they neutralize. So what you're doing is you're causing your body to produce additional, do additional work because it's producing both sets of enzymes as it's trying to digest um, both carbohydrates and proteins. And you're just giving your body more and more work. So that drains you of energy, right? So digestion is one of the most energy intensive activities that our bodies performs. So that's the importance of making sure that during that noon to 8 p.m. phase, you aren't combining. So give yourself a couple hours between eating carbohydrates and eating proteins. So that means, you know, mixing, not mixing those during that time frame if possible. And then the last phase, which is the absorption phase, you want to try to not eat late at night simply because your body needs that time to, to digest and absorb those, those nutrients that you've now eaten. Um, so during that phase, it's best not to eat. So try not to have a midnight snack, so to speak. And um, if you follow that, then Fit for Life will work for you. I've been doing it now for, uh, let's see, a couple weeks now, and I feel great. Energy-wise, has been up. I've noticed a difference. I've also been able to just more aware of my own digestion. 
So when I eat certain things, I can tell how it feels as my body's digesting it. Really interesting stuff. Uh, I, you know, I recommend reading it if you're into it. It's, you know, it looks like a long book, but half of it's recipes, so it's really not that long of a read. And it's done a lot of work, a lot of great things for me. So I hope that you enjoy and uh, give it a try. If not, you can always go back to what you've been doing, but uh, might as well give it a go. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm William Glass. This is Financial Glass, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode specifically about helping your body produce as much energy and being as energetic and full of life as possible. Thanks so much. See you next time.